dear all this is a sample the assistant professor department of science and humanities and now we are going to see about the microstructural changes during cooling even it might be slow cooling or moderate cooling or rapid quenching here this paper is material science which is for 2017 regulation students only A free energy composition course for binary systems which is explained by Gibbs free energy course the shape of liquidus, solidus and solvus curves in a phase diagram are to determine by the Gibbs free energy of relevant phases. The two phases liquid and solid are in stable equilibrium in two phases between the fields of liquid and solidus line. This Gibbs free energy at different temperature are calculated as a function of composition for ideal liquid solution and for ideal solution of two components A and B. Here in this diagram we can have the variation of temperature that is T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 that is step by step rising the temperature level. Also, we can monitor the composition of the material and their changes or weight percentage changes. So, along Gibbs axis with respect to composition, at temperature T1, there is a notable change. Similarly, at T2 and T3, there is a mixing of solid and liquid phases is shown in the third diagram that is the C that this moves to the next extent and finally again in the same way where we starts also this all combined gives this diagram which is source that is similar to the a tie line lever rule here if we drop this we can find the composition and here we can find the liquid and solid compositions all these temperatures are noted uh, that is for various temperature t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 here in t5 the material is completely solid and in t1 the material is completely liquid here in t2 the liquid stage ends and at t4 uh, the solid state ends that is moving to next to solid here in T3 uh, both stage that is solid and liquid slide these all are explained by Gibbs free energy curves so uh, the same is defined here also that is a temperature T1 the liquid solution has lower Gibbs free energy and therefore it is more stable phase that is at T1 it is stable next at T2 the melting temperature of A the liquid and solid are equally stable only at composition of pure A and next at T3 temperature between the melting temperature of A and B the free energy curves crosses and finally at temperature T4 which is the melting temperature of B while T5 is below it. Uh, the same curve for a tectic phase diagram from Gibbs energy curves is given for various temperature T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and here we can note the curves and their changes and here the final stage of the phases that is the liquid phase and the solid phase and the between regions are clearly explained by the Gibbs free energy curves. Also while saying about the microstructural changes 
uh, there is no big change in the physical appearance of the material anyhow as the temperature increases if we check these materials in micro level the changes may be observed that is at low temperature that is below 1200 degrees celsius it seems to be like that and at every stage that is d which is 1220 degrees celsius appearance and is it is purely liquid or solid or solid and liquid mixture and similarly next stage c almost 1200 degrees celsius and next 1260 degrees celsius which is not as region b and finally at 1300 degrees celsius which is a that is purely liquid structure also another example and structure wise changes is shown for you tectic system that is the liquid and solid phase in between the changes here we can see purely liquid and some solid phases occurs and solid phases with the liquid phases here as a rule of tie line and rival rule we can note this c e c not and c beta e that is the limit region of beta and alpha and finally some structure new structure which is called as dendrite structure also appears here uh, dendrite structure that is a primary axis and next axis to the primary axis is secondary axis or secondary arm similarly the tertiary arm that is during early stages of solidification the shape of the crystal is like a fir tree that is fir tree like structure and this structure is called a dendrite structure and the composition difference causes by coring effect enable the identification of the dendrites even after the complete solidification a dendrite grow in three mutually perpendicular directions giving rise to primary secondary and tertiary arms thank you thank you anna